What's going on guys, Balkan Architect here and in today's tutorial I'm going to be showing you how to model an aluminum facade in Revit that has some construction elements. Now aluminum facades are really great, those are those panel facades, I mean it doesn't have to be aluminum, some, you can use some other uh, sort of finish material for uh, for the finishing layer, but usually it's some aluminum or some stone or some composite material, something like that. And under that we have some construction, and then the, we have those uh, basically the, the the bearing wall. Now uh, I'm going to be modeling this in Revit as a curtain wall, and we're just going to be using the the system curtain wall system family to get the desired effect for uh, this type of a wall construction. But before I get started, I would just like to ask you to like this tutorial, it helps me out a lot, and if you haven't already, I suggest you subscribe, because I make tutorials like this every day. And if you want to download this project file, or if you want to get access to some of my advanced courses, I suggest you check out my Patreon, first link in the description. Okay, so let's get started. I'm going to be using for this the architectural template, even though this is a family that we're creating, it's a system family, so we need to access it through uh, uh, a Revit project. Then I'm going to go over here to the wall command, start to the wall command, and here now in the properties panel, let's just search for a uh, some sort of a curtain wall. Now, when choosing a curtain wall, uh, you usually get these three uh, with most architectural templates in Revit, depending on the version of Revit you have. Uh, but uh, the curtain wall, the regular one, is just has no separation between uh, the glass panels. The exterior glazing has separation between the glass panels, but it doesn't have the mullions. And here the storefront has it all, so that's what we're going to be using. So I'm just going to place just a bit of a wall over here. So that's what we have, maybe spin it around. Okay, let's go into 3D and see what we have. Okay, so as you can see over here, this is our facade. We've got these uh, vertical and horizontal mullions. And when we zoom in over here, we have our glass. And we can select the glass just by hovering over uh, the curtain wall, hitting tab a few times. And there we go, so we selected the glass, and if you want to edit uh, this glass, you would really need to unpin it and then go over here and change it. Now, uh, for this glass panel, we only have options for uh, having it empty, or having it glazed, or solid, or something like that. But that's really not something we want to use, we want to create our own. So let me uh, pin this back in place. And let's create a new glass panel that's going to actually hold uh, the wall and it's going to allow us to use the, these mullions as some sort of fake construction for uh, our panel wall. It's not going to be ideal, of course, uh, but it's going to look good enough for our project. And if you want, you're want, you looking for, well, ideal, I'm going to leave some links in the description for some manufacturers that have created some plugins uh, for... Uh, doing something like this. So uh, let's just go here to File and New. So we're creating a new curtain system uh, panel. So just go to New Family and here for searching for a uh, for a template for our family. Let's see what we have. So curtain panel pattern based. That's not what we want to use. This is not pattern based. This is just a regular curtain wall. So let's just go with metric curtain wall panel and just open it up. This is what we get, let's go to exterior side. So we have, uh, this is the top of the panel, this is the bottom, these are the sides, and we have this middle line. Now I'm just going to go to reference plane and add one in the middle. So let's go like that, and just to lock it in place, just to make sure that's, that it is actually in the middle, I'm just going to go with DI for dimension, and yeah, just do it like that and equalize it. Okay, so once we have uh, this in place, this uh, system, and uh, now usually I would place a curtain panel uh, just on the edges of these uh, reference planes, but in this case uh, we want to kind of create panels that are uh, that are offset, so we don't want our mullions, so let's go back into this 3D, we don't want our mullions to be going on the side of the panel, we want it to go on the middle of the panel, so it looks like it's actually holding the panel in place. And uh, one more thing before we uh, continue, uh, usually the construction of the 
of these aluminum facades is a lot smaller than uh, this these mullions so i'm just going to go here to the edit type for uh, this curtain wall and just drop these mullions down to the smallest one we have and i'm going to go with the 30 millimeter square now you can just copy and then paste it to all of these paste paste yeah, because we want to have some small construction that actually looks realistic. So when I hit apply, as you can see, it looks like that. And if we go maybe to south elevation, and let's go here to fine. Okay. Let's see, north elevation will be... Okay, we can see it better here. Now, what I'm going to do is just measure this mullion. But as I said, it's 30 millimeters, so just keep that in mind. Uh, so when I go back to my uh, view for my family, let's see. So let's go with the exterior view. Okay, here's the exterior view. So we know that we should uh, leave an offset of uh, 30 millimeters or well, 15 millimeters on each side, just to make it go all the way from side to side. Now, that might not make sense at this uh, moment, but don't worry, it will make sense in a bit. So let me just go here for an extrusion and just go with a rectangular extrusion and give it an offset of a 15 millimeters. So we want to bypass that emollient. So let's just go like that, okay. So we've got that and we want to lock it in place. So to lock it in place here, you just need to go with the uh, align dimension. Just go like this, lock it in place. Uh, same thing here, lock it in place. And the same thing on other sides. So like that and here as well. Like that, lock it in place. So now if we just uh, hit finish it will look like this and if we just go to our reference level we can see where it is so this is the interior side this is the exterior side i want this thing actually to be on the exterior so let me give it an offset uh, just enough for that mullion so let's go with the extrusion start being minus 15 and the extrusion end being i don't know minus uh, let's go panel, let's say panel is, I don't know, 3 centimeters, that's 30 millimeters, so that's minus 45, and it looks like that. Okay, so we've got that on the exterior side, let's go back, and let's create some extrusions that are on the interior side. So we need an insulation layer as well as a construction layer. So maybe let's go to the interior side, yeah, looks good enough, go to create, extrusion, rectangle and we can just use this one the existing one oops uh, for reference and then we're going to lock it to that so just make sure you use that 15 millimeter offset and you just lock it in place on all four sides and uh, once you're done you just hit finish go back to your reference level okay so again i'm going to give it an extrusion a start of 15 millimeters and then an extrusion end of let's say my insulation is 150 millimeters so combined with this 15 that's 165 hit apply okay so this is an insulation material and let's give it a material for insulation so let's just go for some insulation yeah let's go with the pink one that's the one that's the cheapest so let's use that okay so we've got this going let's go back to interior and let's just do the construction layer so just go to create let's go with set work plane and oops extrusion set work plane pick a plane okay and let's pick this face and again, let's use the existing offset just to lock everything in place, just like that. Okay, just lock it now on all sides. Okay, hit finish, go back into our reference level. And yeah, let's do it at 200 millimeters. And let's say this is the actual construction layer. So let's find some block. Okay, lightweight, fine. Okay, so now the only thing we need to have is kind of that separation between panels and I'm going to be use, doing that by just going to the exterior side, uh, selecting this exterior panel, going edit extrusion and now what I'm going to do is just use the offset tool with an offset of 15 millimeters and just zoom in over here and just give it an offset like that. Okay, 
Now you just go with the split element tool and you split it here, you split it here, you split it here, here and in the middle on all four sides. Next thing you need to do, you need to go with trim and extend and then you just trim all sides to get something that looks like this. Let's do the middle now. Okay, let's do this side, the top, and let's just do the bottom. Okay, and to keep these in place, uh, what you need to do is you need to lock it in place. So just go DI for dimension, then go like this, lock it in place, again, lock it in place, and then you can align it to this. So just go align tool, select the locked one, the unlocked one, and lock it and the same thing on this side and then you repeat the same thing for the horizontal ones so just the dimension tool lock it lock it again and then just the align tool to uh, lock the other ones without adding the extra dimension okay so we have this and this extrusion on the exterior side there should probably be some fancy material so let's okay Let's select that and let's add some aluminum. Let's see what we have. Yeah, let's go with the blue facade or the red facade. Okay, red would be too much. So let's go with the blue facade and yeah, let's bring this color a bit more to something grayish like that. Okay, this looks a bit better. Okay, hit apply. And here we have that uh, uh, panel, facade panel panel and we can just load it into the project and now it's loaded the only thing is it's probably has some weird name uh, but never mind that okay so we go back to our uh, curtain system and we go here into edit type now uh, for this uh, you need to find uh, where you can set the actual uh, curtain panel and here it is so just open up this drop menu and yeah here we have family one now uh, you would probably uh, save that family that panel family that we cre created and then it would have some normal name but in this case let's just go with family one hit apply and there we go so it looks like this and as you can see we've got those uh, vertical elements going through this and we've got the facade that looks pretty nice for an aluminum facade Yeah, there you go. So you can play around with layers a bit if you want. So as you can see, these ones are kind of attached. Yeah, it looks really good. So there you go, aluminum facade, uh, just out of a curtain wall and rabbit. So if you ever want to do something like that, that's how you approach this problem. Okay, so if you want to download this aluminum facade, check out the uh, first link in the description to my Patreon. You can get it there. Also, some advanced courses as well. Okay, so that's pretty much it for this tutorial. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe, like, and share this video. And if you have any questions, comments, or suggestions for any future tutorials, please make sure to leave them in the comment section below. Thank you for watching, and have a nice day.